Well, look, Burkhardt is a preseason All-Summit League player, and as well as complete players, this is a very good South Dakota State team. They were the Summit League champs a year ago. They have all five starters back, and here's the thing. They went 3-1 and one against top 25 competition last season. Burkhardt needs just three points to join the 1,000-point club, and she was simply just outstanding in the season over last week. So appreciate you hanging out with us here on a Friday night in Starkville. South Dakota State out of the Summit League. They won the Summit last year with a perfect 14-0 record. They went 20. They lost just four games a year ago, Charlie, and had some big wins under their belt. They won against Iowa State. They had some big wins. Lost in the Summit Tournament last year to Omaha and then went to the NCAA Tournament as an at-large team. So, big matchup tonight. Mississippi State and South Dakota State here in the preseason. You see Meyer, Tyson on the inside, and what oh, a nice move and an easy bucket for the Jackrabbits to get it started. Nelson with a bucket. You see the Bulldogs starting lineup. It's not a big starting lineup at all. You see Hayes, Taylor. Here's Charlotte Cole on the inside. And now handling on the right wing, Maya Taylor. Taylor drives in and had it knocked free, and the basketball will stay with Mississippi State. Now watch for South Dakota State. Very disciplined team. They stay within their system defensively. Well, got the easy bucket from Nelson on their first offensive trip. Here's Rakia Jackson, three on the shot clock. Pulls up, 18-footer, and barely draws iron. Here's Meyer bringing it up the floor. Here's Burkhart. First time you see her tonight. Out right side, the three taken and got it. Tori Nelson goes inside, now steps outside, and it's a quick 5-0 lead for the Jackrabbits. Well, that's quite the skip pass right there, too. Really difficult angle to make that pass, but got it to Nelson and a place to score. And Anastasia Hayes making the drive to the bucket. Charlotte Cole was looking inside to block out, wasn't anticipating the pass, and Mississippi State turns it over. Now the Jacks turn it over. Here's Maya Taylor spinning up and under, missed the shot. Rakia Jackson gets it, sticks it back too strong. And Burkhardt claims a rebound for South Dakota State. Here's Irwin on the left wing. Tally Irwin gets in the lane, puts it up, and a 7-0 lead for South Dakota State. Well, that's just a great job isolating that time there by Irwin. Just able to work one-on-one -on -one and made the easy look after the spin move. Here's Rakia Jackson out top, and she rams home the three. And Mississippi State with its first points of the night. Quickly, South Dakota State back down the floor and through, through the hands of Nelson in the left corner. Second turnover. Up and under, Rakia Jackson left it short. And once again, Burkhart with a rebound. Handles the basketball well, the six foot junior. I see the Jack just want to push it down to the offensive end. Don't allow Mississippi State to get into any kind of pressure type defense. Got the defender in the air, driving to the bucket. Charlotte Cole picks up the foul and she'll check out of the game. The Mississippi State will check Raven Farley into the contest. Higher inbound, he got it to Irwin. Had the open look, couldn't get it to go, and Mississippi State with a rebound with Jerkayla Jordan. Two lane transfer brings it up the floor, quickly down, down the right side, puts it off the glass and scores it. 
Kent State has scored the last five after South Dakota State scored the first seven. Meyer right side, wide open look, Burkhart, and that one rattles out. But an offensive rebound blocked outside by Rakia Jackson. Here comes Jordan running. Down the right side again, too strong off the glass. And the jumper too strong for Tory Nelson. Alternating possession will give it to State. There you see Aaron Johnston in his 22nd year as the head coach at South Dakota State. And Charlie, I tell you what, it is amazing of what he has done in Brookings, South Dakota. Five-time league coach of the year, winning his women's basketball coach in school history. Only two years in his time there did he not win 20 games. In both those years, he won 19. And you see Hayes going in there. Ten trips to the NCAA tournament. Three times to the, to the WNIT. Uh, did a great job, too, as the program made the transition from Division two to Division one, back in the early 2000s. Back their first year in Division one, they won 21 games. One point game, Irwin picked up her dribble. And gets it out to Nelson. Farley comes out to guard on the left wing. Ten on the shot clock. Meyer works left. Up with the left hand shot. Won't go, but an easy put back. Missed in front. And another offensive rebound. And Meyer will take the jumper. And left it long. And now State clears it out. Jordan went in, went in there to get it. Inside. Farley running the lane well. And Mississippi State on an 8-0 run to take the lead. Yeah, it was a 7-0 run out of the gate for South Dakota State. The Bulldogs now an 8-0 run of their own. Burkhart skips it across to Nelson. Nelson had a knock free and into the backcourt. And Timmer will go back and get it. Just five to shoot now. Timmer driving left. And the rebound. On the inside for Raven Farley, the transfer from St. John's. Now the Jacks have had a couple of nice looks, but unable to get anything to go as of late. And Anastasia Hayes, a spinning shot from the right elbow. And now Mississippi State on a 10-0 run. After the Jacks took an early 7-0 lead. Burkhart in the lane. Oh, nice move. Went right, fake back left, and went back with a right hand. And Burkhart with her first points of the night. Just the Jackrabbits back within one. Yeah, they had missed eight in a row, but break the streak there. Jordan wide open looking and rattles out. Quickly up the floor, there's Jordan picking off the pass. Maya Taylor in traffic, cut off well. And now she'll reset the offense, and Irwin tips it out of court. So that'll take us to immediate timeout, so back and forth we go here to get this one started. You knew it was going to be a good one. It's been a good one so far. State leading by one. Back in Starkville, 3.57 to go in the first quarter, 10 to 9. Mississippi State, one point lead over South Dakota State. And Jack Rabbit scored the first seven of this game. Charlie, kind of took a little settling in for Mississippi State. South Dakota State, four of 12 shooting from the field. There you see Doug Novak, interim head coach for Mississippi State in his first year in Starkville. 
and has spent the last years, as, eight years as a head coach at Bethel up in Minnesota and came on to Nikki McCray Pinson's staff and then a few weeks ago after Nikki McCray Pinson stepped away due to health issues. Doug Novak promoted to the interim head coach on October the 12th. Now, a lot to talk about at that Bulldog Hawthorne. One of the things that jumps out at me right now, Bart, South Dakota State, three offensive rebounds. Now, the Bulldogs have gotten away with that because South Dakota State's been unable to convert any of those into second chance points, but Bulldogs right now being out rebounded eight to six. And look, it's been documented Mississippi State doesn't have a lot of size this year, but size today, not so much the issue. It's been more about positioning and just getting in a proper rebound spot. State will have the basketball coming out of the timeout with a one-point lead. Dogs played on Tuesday night against Alabama State, 91-62. Here tonight against South Dakota State, then back at it on Sunday, 5 o'clock against Alcorn State. Rakia Jackson out of the timeout. Aggressively went up, missed the second opportunity as well. And now she bats it out of court, and South Dakota State will play it. Kia Jackson just one of six shooting from the field here early. And Bulldogs overall just four out of 12. So struggling to shoot here at times. Both teams four of 12, and both teams have missed some looks around the goal. Here's Haley Greer handling the basketball for the first time tonight. Out to Nelson. Nelson scored the first five for the Jacks. Now driving layup wide open, Haley Timmer. Driving with that left hand, first points of the night for Timmer, the freshman from Rapid City, South Dakota. Yeah, good job attacking with that left hand that time, getting to the left side of the rim. Anastasia Hayes drives off left side, gets the bucket to go and foul. Five points for Anastasia Hayes. And Charlie, that's what she does. She figures out a way to get down low. Not afraid of contact. Drew it from Haley Greer and hits the bucket. Gives State the one point lead again. And she makes a free throw. Hayes really seems to be that player for Mississippi State right now. If you need a goal, she is one of those players you want to have the basketball because she can create so well off the dribble. Thunick has checked in. Lindsey Thunick. Here's Greer. Wide open look inside and laying it in with the left hand. There's Timmer again. Well, great look by Greer that time. Working here on the left wing. You saw Timmer flash underneath the goal and just blew a strike. Tied at 13. Hayes again. This time cut off. Here's Maya Taylor for three. Left it long. Offside rebound, and there is Lindsey Thune. All the way down the floor. Got out of control just a little bit. Bailed out with a foul, and Thune will go to the free throw line and shoot two. And today, Carter will pick up the foul, fresh into the game. The freshman from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, from Mississippi State. And Lindsey Thunick will go to the free throw line and shoot two shots. Thunick shot just 59% off a free throw line last year. A career 59% free throw shooter. And she makes one out of two. See just how hard South Dakota State works to stay in defensive position. Bulldogs have an athletic advantage, though, if they can press the issue. And Rakia Jackson trying to spin move in the fadeaway. Left it short. Here's Greer to the free throw line. Out to Burkhardt on the right wing. They call out 
Tyson on top. Back cut to Timmer. Lost her footing underneath. Rakia Jackson up to Carter. Today Carter cut off, but she stepped on the baseline. And State turns it over. Only the second turnover for Mississippi State in the first eight and a half minutes. Jacks will play it with a one-point lead. Minute and a half to go here in the first quarter. Inside Timmer, well, inverted the offense, got the guard down and low against Anastasia Hayes in the lay-in, and it's 16 to 13, and Timmer has three field goals and six points. Oh, just great job of positioning and another good entry pass. Anastasia Hayes cut off and a reach in and a jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to South Dakota State. <laughs> Ashley Jones going to check in for Mississippi State. Junior from Philadelphia. Transfer from Temple. Kayla Jordan into the game as well. Now Irwin in front, couldn't get the kind iron. State running, here's Anastasia Hayes up the right side. Into Carter, driving left side. Danae Carter with her first points. Well, nice job by Hayes that time, pressing the issue. And although she could not get in a position to score, drew some defenders and then Carter following the play gets the easy look. Well, four second differential on the shot clock and a game clock here at the end of the first quarter. Got to Burkhart into the corner, Irwin. Back to Burkhart, wide open look. And another offensive rebound, this time by Timmer. And the basketball will stay with South Dakota State in a fresh or no shot clock. And so they can really play it down now to the end of the first quarter if they would like. Leading by one, toss it in, almost stolen away by Rakia Jackson. Three seconds, Meyer with one second, heaves it at the buzzer and misses the shot. We play 10 minutes of basketball. Well, South Dakota State making their way down to Starkville with a one point lead over Mississippi State after one. And Mississippi State will have the basketball to start the second quarter. And Rakia Jackson out top. Been a quiet start for Rakia, just three points on one of seven shooting. Jackson gets it, has a double team, kicks it out right side, and a walk by Maya Taylor. You see that so many times, players, before they put the ball on the floor to attack the basketball, just get a little extra step in, Maya did at that time. So a quick turnover here for Mississippi State as we start the second quarter, and the Jacks will have it up a point. Irwin out top, over to Meyer in the corner. What well, nice pick and roll. Good rotation by the Mississippi State defense. Doug Novak wanted to travel, but a foul underneath, and it may be today caught. It's going to be fairly, uh, Farley who picks up the foul. Came through on the backside. First foul on Farley with the free throw long. Callie Tyson at the free throw line. Sophomore from Plymouth, Minnesota. And she hits one out of two. And the Jacks take a 17-15 lead. South Dakota State, the Jack Rabbits out of the Summit League. Giving the Bulldogs different looks defensively. 
Maya Taylor driving in, had a shot blocked, taken away. Here comes Meyer running. Out to Tyson, picked up her dribble, left side of Irwin, wide open look, and banked it in. Well, not the way you draw it up, but Irwin got to go, kind of laughing about that one. Easy to laugh when it goes through. And the lead back to five for South Dakota State. They scored the game's first seven points. And then State scored the next 10. Rakia Jackson with a jumper, left it short. Here's Irwin. State's been man-to-man -man throughout. Meyer got a screen, driving in left hand, lays it in. And the lead is seven again for South Dakota State, matching their largest lead. Meyer did a great job that time, kind of using her body to shield the defender to prevent the block shot. Just kind of scooped it up there. Hayes cut off to Farley at the free throw line. Going to take the jumper and hit it. <laughs> well, well, looked around and looked around and looked around and said, you know what, I'll just I'll fire it up there. Ran out of options, so I'll take this one. And the first points, or excuse me, the second bucket by Farley and her fourth point. Ball knocked free. Anastasia Hayes driving, lays it up with the left hand. So State gets the defensive stop and gets an easy bucket to get it back within three. Well, that's the key for Mississippi State. Jump start things on the defensive end, try to get Hayes out in transition. Wide open inside is Tyson. Well, what you're seeing right now, Bart, on both ends of the floor is the difference in a team in South Dakota State that's a veteran team that's played together and a Mississippi State team that pieces the puzzle, still trying to learn each other a little bit. Not exactly sure where to be sometimes. You're seeing the benefit of experience. And Hayes has it knocked free. Jack Rabbis with a five-point lead in the ball. Urquhart try to skip it to the left wing to Meyer and overshot her. And that for South Dakota State, their fifth turnover. Both teams now have five turnovers here in 13 and a half minutes of play. Hell, too much on the fastball that time. This Bulldogs will play it down by five. And Really would love to see Mississippi State get the ball to Hayes, let her try to create and attack a little bit. Man driving through, Kia Jackson couldn't get it to fall, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two shots. Well, Rakia's had a tough night scoring so far, just one of eight, but one of the ways players can jumpstart themselves is to get to the free throw line. Even if you don't have shots going, a lot of players can kind of use this as a reset a little bit. Get their shot back, get a couple of points, and then feel like kind of things are going again. Well, body language for Rakia Jackson shows some frustration right now. And that one rattles in. Four point game. Try to dump it inside, and Anastasia Hayes stepped in front of Timmer to knock it free. That's a nice job by Hayes that time, stepping in front, denying the entry. Timmer trying to post up again. She's had a lot of success doing that, and then, as you so often see, trying to prevent the breakout, gets the trip foul, and Mississippi State will have it. Maceline Hayes checks in, wearing number 10. See Irwin come out of the game. Kia Jackson with a pull up, got it. Well, Charlie talked about it a moment ago. Get that late free throw. And steps back and hits the jump shot. Bulldogs back within two. Kia Jackson with her sixth point. Here's Burkhart into the corner. And the three ball out of the corner for Thunic. Quick release that time. 
And South Dakota State worked it around, and then Thunic had a, just a little bit of a look. That's all she needed. Third three for South Dakota State. Here's Rakia Jackson trying to manufacture left and short. And the rebound for the visitors from Brookings, South Dakota. Back to Thunic again. That one rattled out. Timmer got the rebound. And now a jump ball call. Possession arrow belongs to South Dakota State. Again, you see that good ball rotation by South Dakota State. They found Thunic. Good job of keeping eyes up, finding the open shooter. Just didn't get it to go. Burkhart, left side Nelson, 10 on the shot clock. Wide open Timmer, and left and wide left. And a rebound underneath and a foul by Tory Nelson. And that will take us to immediate timeout. Mason and Hayes got the defensive board. And we're midway through the second quarter here at Humphrey Coliseum. South Dakota State leading by five. Well, back in Starkville, 448 to go in the second quarter, 27-22. South Dakota State leading by five. They're led by seven a couple of times. Mississippi State should have the basketball coming out of the timeout. Charlie, been one of those nights so far. Neither team has shot it great. South Dakota State, 44% shooting. Mississippi State, 41%. And after being out-rebounded in the first game against Alabama State, well, the boards have belonged to the visitors of South Dakota State in this one. Well, they certainly have. And it's been a really textbook job of rebounding by the Jackrabbits. They are doing a great job getting in good position and running a number of players to the missed shot. Aislinn Hayes hands it off to Maya Taylor. Aislinn going to take the three and hit it. Aislinn Hayes transfer from Middle Tennessee with her sister, Anastasia Hayes, both guards. Now look inside, Timmer driving on the backside and laying it in. You know, made three-pointers can kind of put a life into a, a team, into a crowd that's a little bit dead, but just about time you feel good about it. South Dakota State comes back and just finds the easy goal. Here's Danae Carter. To Rakia Jackson, who slices her way down the right side. Well, when Rakia Jackson gets the ball in that spot, it'll be really tough to defend. Out to Greer, wide open look left side. And State with a rebound with Jerkayla Jordan. Jordan slicing her way through. Missed the shot, tipped up by Carter, and a jump ball. And the possession arrow belongs to Mississippi State. South Dakota State outscored uh, Mississippi State 16 to 15 in the first quarter. Outscoring the Bulldogs 13 to 12 here in the second. Here's Danae Carter. She cuts through and she lays it off the glass. And we're tied at 29. Got a lob it inside again and tipped away by State. Yeah, good job by Maya Taylor coming over to help that time and prevented the entry pass. But the Jacks have had so much success. Three out of the corner by Meyer. Paige Meyer knocks it down her first three. That's her fifth point. Four threes now for South Dakota State. Maya Taylor going to try to answer. And left it long. And a foul on the rebound as they're going to get 
Today, Carter. We want to take another look at that. Home crowd didn't like it. Jimmy John Josie says, hey, what are we doing here? Didn't see the foul live action that time. Thought pretty good. Just example of a team kind of losing control of themselves rather than being pushed. Meyer in traffic, got it off the glass and scored it. My goodness, what a job by South Dakota State tonight, just picking up loose basketballs and playing tough around the basket. Man, a foul called. It's Mississippi State off the dribble drive with Ja'Kayla Jordan. Irwin hit with a foul. That's her second. Team's fourth of the second quarter. Let's see if they'll stick with Irwin the rest of the second quarter. I don't think so. In fact, she will come out. Don't want to see her pick up her third foul. If you're South Dakota State, so they'll take her out of the basketball game. And the first free throw good for Jordan. Ja'Kayla Jordan. Knocks them both down. New Orleans, Louisiana native. Transfer from Tulane. Burkhart, mismatch on the inside, and Jordan with the quick hands trying to poke it free, and she's hit with a foul. That's the fourth team foul on stage here in the second. Wide open out of the corner, and Meyer hit it off the side of the glass. Well, how many times do you see it, Charlie? When you look down at your feet, kind of gather yourself, it's almost like you need to just pass it on up. That's exactly right. Start thinking about it a little bit too much. Like that shortstop that gets to pat the glove about twice. But you see South Dakota State again using the inbounds play to try to manufacture an open three-point look. They've done it with Meyer on both sides of the floor here. Anastasia Hayes out top. Here's Rakia Jackson. Found a soft spot in the zone and left it too strong. Four point lead for South Dakota State. Now those are shots that'll start falling for Rakia Jackson most nights. Gonna keep going to it. Meyer drives in, passed up to three. Rebound Nelson, she puts it back in. Yeah, offensive rebounding really starting to be a story in this basketball game. That's the eighth for the Jacks. And now out rebounding Mississippi State 21 to 13 overall. Say so Bulldogs trying to work Jackson at that high post, trying to get her the entry. Ja'Kayla Jordan found the soft spot in the zone. She can't get it to fall, and now the Jacks can hold it for essentially the final shot of the first half. Leading by five here on the road in Starkville, Mississippi. Now Bulldogs have attacked the rim about every way you can, but just can't get anything at all to fall. Got a two and a half second differential. Out left side, Timmer. Two on the shot clock, one. Meyer got a heave it and hit it. Oh my. Meyer from the left wing. Falling that? left, buries the three, and it's an eight-point lead for South Dakota State as we go to the break. The shot clock winding down and nowhere to go. And falling left, boom. 
And we play 20 minutes of basketball in South Dakota State leads by eight. Well, you see Doug Novak. And South Dakota State with an eight point lead in the ball to start the second half after Paige Meyer hit a leaning three with the clock winding down at the end of the second quarter. Spinning shot in the lane and too strong in Mississippi State with a rebound. Jerkayla Jordan comes up with it. Jordan driving in, put it off the glass, score the bucket, and she's fouled. And Charlie, that's the thing that State has been able to do, and it looks like Ja'Kayla Jordan has a lot of confidence trying to dribble drive through that zone, and boy, she's done that a couple times so far tonight. And see, just attacking that time and able to get to go, so Bulldogs get the stop on the defensive end and then get the points off the attack. This is the free throw. Now Meyer on the offensive end. And a foul away from the basketball. And it's going to be Charlotte Cole who is charged with a foul. And that's her second foul, team's first of the second half. Left side, wide open look, got it again. There's Meyer with her third three and her 13th point. How about that? The only one that Meyer has missed from long range is when she was able to set her feet, stop, and think about it a while. And the lead is nine. Largest lead of the night for the Jacks. Now Maya Taylor trying to answer. Off the front iron and the rebound on the inside with Burkhart. And look at those yellow jerseys in rebounding position. And now Meyer slicing through. Can't get it to go. And the rebound inside and the jump ball. The possession arrow belongs to Mississippi State. Well, Tyson had it. Good job by Anastasia Hayes to reach in and tie it up. And the dogs will play it to the offensive end down by nine. Yeah, you're exactly right. That was a really nice job by Hayes. Not in a position to pull the ball away, but able to tie it up and get the Bulldogs the basketball. Now to man here early in the second half. Ja'Kayla Jordan going to take a three and hit it. Well, she drives in and gets one high off the glass. Now steps back outside, buries the three. Ja'Kayla Jordan with her ninth point. That's her first three of the night. Able to run the offense, get the open look that time. And now the Bulldogs take it away. Maya Taylor with an easy layup. Just took it away at half court. Drives in and lays up. And this is what I was talking about, Charlie. State has a chance to score points in a hurt. And now a reach in foul on the inbound. For a timeout taken. So timeout taken and a timeout on the floor with 8.01 to go in the third quarter. Maya Taylor after the Bulldogs hit the three. Maya, the senior from Olive Branch, knocks it free and gets an easy bucket. And that's her first points of the night and the Bulldogs back within four. Forty-two thirty-eight, South Dakota State with a lead. Two minutes deep here in the third quarter. The Jackrabbits led by nine just a moment ago. But five quick points for State to get it back with it four. Appreciate you joining us tonight here in Starkville, Mississippi. Mississippi State and South Dakota State. We talked about the Summit League, Charlie, and about this Jackrabbit team. Actually picked to finish second in the Summit League this year. They got all five starters back from last year's team that went to the NCAA tournament. Ball knocked free again. Jerkayla Jordan got it, stuck it up, couldn't get it to go. But she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. Now Jordan really providing a spark for the Bulldogs here 
to start this second half. You see Maya Taylor, who's really creates some havoc defensively, and then Jordan able to attack the rim again, doesn't get it to go, but gets to the line. Charge a foul to Tori Nelson, and that's her second. And Jerkata Jordan hits the first free throw. She's now the first Bulldog in double figures tonight. Three of four at the free throw line, make it four out of five. And all of a sudden, back to a two-point game, a 7-0 run by State in the last 33 seconds. Handling in the backcourt, Haley Greer, one-on-one -on -one with Maya Taylor. And now a whistle and a foul away from the basketball. That's going to go against Anastasia Hayes with a hold out on the left wing. It's just a step quicker defensively here in this third quarter than we've seen throughout this ball game. Here's Nelson driving with a left hand, lost it off her foot, back to Burkhart. And before the transition could start, they got a 30 second shot clock violation. So good defensive possession that time by Mississippi State. They don't get the breakaway, but they do get basketball possession and here down by two. And have a chance to erase that lead just here in the first three minutes or so of this second half. Here's Rakia Jackson. Got it the second time in the lane, up with the right hand and ties the game at 42. Here's what you love right there. Rakia Jackson didn't have a good post set, kicked it out, trusted her teammate to give it back to her, and during that process, able to reset, get in a better position the second time she got the ball. Lob it inside, blocked from behind by Jerkayla Jordan. Tori Nelson making the move to the bucket. Jerkayla Jordan providing a spark here in the second half. Let's take another look at what you're talking about, Charlie. Yeah, throw it out, then you just start pushing on that defender when the ball comes back, you're in a better spot. 15 on the shot clock, Meyer to inbound. Ball knocked free, but it came right back to Meyer. Here's Nelson, work behind the screen, pull up jumper, left it long. Danae Carter with a rebound for State. Bulldogs looking to take the lead, Rakia Jackson cut off on the baseline and a block will be called. And they'll charge the foul to Peyton Burkhart. And that's her second foul, the team's third of the third quarter. State's outscored South Dakota State 11 to three here in the third, down by eight at the break. Here's Rakia. One on one Burkhart, spins baseline, couldn't get it to go, but she'll be fouled. The foul occurred on the floor. No, oh, they're going to give her two shots. So two shots coming for Rakia Jackson. She's one for two at the free throw line, trying to give State their first lead in a while. And have not let it tonight. Let's see, they let it 13-11. Back 3-0-4 to play in the first, and this is the first lead since. And now a 10-0 run for State. Now 11-0 run over the last 214. South Dakota State hasn't scored in just over three minutes. And State has taken a nine-point deficit out to a two-point lead. Invert the offense again to Timmer down low. Split the double team up and under count the bucket. She's fine. Well, Timmer had some success in that first half. Just attacking the basket, does it again. Not the biggest player, but fundamentally sound down low. You see, just split the defenders. And 
Timmer with 10 points in the game. Man, you look at the freshman for South Dakota State, Meyer a freshman, and now Timmer a freshman. Those are the two players in double figures for the game. Man, what a big play that time by Timmer to break up that run for Mississippi State. And an old-fashioned three-point play. South Dakota State leads by one again. Here's Danae Carter, one-on-one -on -one in the paint. Missed the shot, got the offensive rebound. Now Ja'Kayla Jordan in traffic. Anastasia Hayes for three, got it. Anastasia Hayes hits the fourth three of the night for State. That's her first, and the dog's on top by two. Back cut inside to Nelson. Back to Timmer, wide open look, hit it off the front iron. Here's Maya looking to run, three on two. Out to Ja'Kayla Jordan, just couldn't get it to fall. Here comes Irwin up the offensive way. Meyer let the traffic pass, left that one short. And another reset, and a wide open look again, and Meyer's gonna knock that one down. Yeah, I got to set the range the first time. The second look had it lined up and ready to go, and Meyer has had a big game, 16 points now. Fourth three of the night for Paige Meyer. And four and a half to go in the third quarter. And we're trading buckets right now. State in South Dakota State. Now Maya Taylor, open look, hit it off the front iron. Anastasia Hayes kept it alive. Driving in, into traffic, nowhere to go. Here comes Irwin running two on two. Dump it to the inside. Tyson, back to the corner to Meyer. Back to Tyson, now wide open look right side. And an air ball thrown up. Tori Nelson got her feet set, just couldn't make the shot. Now State quickly to the offensive end. Rakia Jackson in a triple team. Forced that shot, left it left. Now, Meyer thought about it, but that Jordan kind of position to close out on her, which reset the offense. Nice give and go to the inside, a wide open bounce feed. Tori Nelson with a lay in, and it's a three point lead. And Meyer got the defense to come to her. Yeah, what a job by South Dakota State. Bulldogs had gone on a run, taken the lead. Looked like things were going to turn against them, but just hanging in there. Driving shot by Maya Taylor, left it too strong. Here comes Timmer up the floor. And knocked away by Danae Carter. So the whistle will bring the media timeout with 2.56 to go in the third quarter. And back and forth we go here in the third. South Dakota State leading by three. Back in start, 50 to 47, South Dakota State, Mississippi State going back and forth here in the third quarter. Jack Rabbits led by eight at the half, and then Mississippi State came all the way back to take a two-point lead at 44 to 42, but then traded some buckets. Tory Nelson just hit a layup a moment ago. South Dakota State and the Jacks out of the Summit League with a three-point lead. Yeah, Ja'Kayla Jordan, the story for Mississippi State so far in the second half. She has seven points in the half. Out left side, a three taken, offside rebound, wide open lay-in as Byam. Wide open look. Off the offensive rebound, another offensive rebound. Now Aislinn Hayes with the answer. That's her second three. Had her feet set, got her shoulders square, got the good look that time. and. Logs cut it back to two. 
Now Greer out top. Inside of Burkhardt. Burkhardt trying to kick it to the right wing. Thune going to penetrate in. And an offensive foul. He says she pushed off. And State will get it down by two. Charlie, here's the thing about South Dakota State. I mean, this is a team, as we've talked about, that went undefeated in their conference last year, made an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament, had five starters returning, and has been the freshman tonight in this game that have been outstanding. Into the corner, Hayes again. Left out one short. Uh, it's certainly a team that understands their system and what they're trying to accomplish, where to be. Ball knocked free. Up to Anastasia Hayes. In traffic to Rakia Jackson. Into the lane. Left it off the left iron. Rakia is four for 15 for the field. She's got 12 points, though. Driving in against Farley. And another offensive rebound for South Dakota State. Burkhart to Thunick. Thunick. And a reset of the offense. And an offensive foul. Burkhart with a moving screen at the top of the key. Yeah, you could see that one coming. Burkhart was, was trying to set it up. And Greer that time just too far away from the screen she was trying to use, and Burkhart tried to help. You know, that really became a point of emphasis about four years ago. You don't see those calls as much as you used to because players have responded. Back to Rakia, gonna take the three, got it! And State leads by one. Rakia Jackson with her 15 point. Her second three. And sometimes with Rakia, all it takes is a little bit of a spark to get her going. Meyer driving in, dumps it inside, ball loose on the floor. And Rakia Jackson had it, just could not get it back out. Bodies all over the floor. Take a look back at that three by Rakia Jackson, able to square up and set up and buries it just off the left side, top of the key. back on the offensive end for South Dakota State. Really tough pass when you're down that close to the goal, leaving a ball for a teammate off the bounce like that. Just a lot of hands down there. Here's Thunick, guarded by Hayes, hands it back to Meyer. Five on the shot clock, Meyer, little 14 footer. Off the left side, State with a rebound. Today, Carter slicing through. The freshman lost it. Here comes Timmer up the floor. Driving left side, nowhere to go. Back to Nelson, and that will end the third quarter. Time and place, and South Dakota State unable to get the shot off before the end of the third quarter. And we go to the fourth. Mississippi State was down by eight at the break, and they lead by one going to the fourth. Mississippi State leading by one as we go to the fourth quarter. Charlie, the third quarter, State got it going. Well, they did. We talked about how Mississippi State had been attacking the goal the third quarter. That's just step out of way and knock down some three-pointers. They hit four in that third period. Well, outside shot, such a big key. State outscoring South Dakota State 22-13 in the third, taking a one-point lead as we go to the fourth. Get off of the referee, Mark Zintz. Haven't seen as many back cuts in the second half. Station a much better job defensively 
in the low post against the back cuts of South Dakota State. Irwin, but another offensive rebound, and that has been a huge factor for the Jacks in this one. Tyson able to put it back in and good and fouled. And once again, another offensive rebound, just good positioning on the inside by Callie Tyson. And the free throw is long. One point lead for South Dakota State. Anastasia Hayes to the corner. Maya Taylor off the back iron. Tipped around, and Aislinn Hayes gets the offensive rebound for State. Here's Rakia. Straight away got it. Beginning to heat up now. 17 points for Rakia Jackson. And State back out in front. Yeah, Rakia nine points now here in the second half on three of five shooting, so a much better second half so far. And Meyer with a drive to the bucket. Maya Taylor going to be charged with a foul. First free throws of the night for Paige Meyer. Yeah, she misses the second. And the basketball will belong to Mississippi State. We're tied at 55. Well, we talked in the opening, Bart. We expected this to be a good basketball game. South Dakota State, an experienced ball club team that had all their starters back from a year ago and fared so well in the Summit League. And beyond that, just against top 25 competition. Meyer has 17 to lead the way for South Dakota State. And Rakia Jackson, back-to-back -back buckets. That's 19 for Rakia. Well, and that's how Rakia goes. She can be cold at times, and when she catches fire, watch out, and she is Caught fire here as of late. And Irwin with the answer for the Jacks, and we're tied at 57. With so much credit to South Dakota State. So many times you see teams on the road kind of hang around and then fade away, but they just keep answering. Aislinn Hayes banks it in straight away. That's her third three. Well, South Dakota State banked one in in the first half, and this time Aislinn Hayes knocks one down. Irwin underneath, left it short, got it back, blocked by Rakia Jackson. Now bounce it inside, missed it, and the basketball will stay with the Jacks. Take a look at that shot by Aislinn Hayes out top. Able to bank it in, and State leads by three. And a wide open look on the inbound. Tori Nelson got free. Yeah, Nelson just slid to the middle, and Meyer just put it right there for her in the easy look. And it's a one point game. That's 11 points for Nelson. Timmer has 11. Meyer has 17. Anastasia Hayes driving in and got it to fall. Anastasia Hayes with her 13th point. Three minutes deep in the fourth quarter. Irwin from the free throw line had it partially blocked by Carter. Back out to Meyer, off the front iron, and Rakia Jackson with a big rebound for State. Yeah, Meyer's been deadly from long, but couldn't knock that one down, and the Bulldogs with the lead in the basketball now.
Seven on the shot clock and a hand check. Tori Nelson trying to reach in and knock it free. Rakia Jackson trying to size her up off the left side. Boy, Rakia has been a different player here in this second half. 11 points on four of six shooting in the second half after just three of 12 shooting in the first. And so a timeout by Mississippi State, and we'll step away as well. 6.21 to go in the fourth quarter. It's been back and forth, and right now Mississippi State leads by three. Back in Starkville, 62 to 59 with 6.21 to go in the fourth quarter. Mississippi State down by eight at the half. And they have outscored South Dakota State 31 to 20 here in the second half. Lead by three at the moment. Charlie C. Doug Novak. Mississippi State made some really good adjustments at the half, especially on the defensive end. Yeah, kind cut of cut out a lot of those backdoor drives by South Dakota State. They've so closed down the back door. The other thing they've done a better job is tightening up the rebounding margin. South Dakota State still out rebounding Mississippi State. The Bulldogs have narrowed the rate at which they were being out rebound. Darren Johnston, his team making the trip south to start with Mississippi. Jumped out to a 7 0 lead, and then Mississippi State has kind of gone back and forth with the Jackrabbits. Now left side, Jordan got to shoot it and didn't realize the shot clock had gotten down inside of three. Bulldogs picking up full court defensively and really causing trouble. And a five second violation. And a turnover gives it back to Mississippi State. Big possession here for the Bulldogs. If they can take advantage of that turnover. Into Danae Carter. Underneath, missed the shot. Ball knocked free and belongs to South Dakota State. Bulldogs have really cut off the pick and roll game here in the second half as well. Irwin driving in, five on the shot clock, left it short. And State with a rebound with Jordan. Up to Rakia Jackson, up and under with a left hand, couldn't get it to fall. But there's Danae, and a foul on the floor. Danae Carter with a rebound in traffic. Not in the bonus yet. Bulldogs will trigger it in. We're going to have a whistle. Yeah, Greer will get caught for holding someone down there before the inbounds. Carter, what well, quick first step. Oh, great job putting it on the floor and attacking the rim. Didn't have anywhere to go the basketball. Shot clock was winding down and just went on the attack. And this is the largest lead of the night for State, but it's short-lived. Wide open, cut to the bucket by Burkhart. 
Kirkhart did a nice job getting position on the inside and taking the feed, headed towards the goal. The Bulldogs just kind of working the perimeter here. Let's see if they get, try to get Jackson back in the high post. Uh, trying to look to the corner and threw it away. Maya Taylor trying to kick it back out to Anastasia Hayes and State turns it over. See Maya Taylor really working hard guarding on ball here in this second half. Greer had it blocked by Anastasia Hayes. Out to Rakia Jackson, the drive to the bucket, leaned in, couldn't get it to fall, but she's fouled, and will go to the free throw line. A shielded her body, and got it where the defender couldn't get the block. And Irwin picks up the foul, that's her third, and Rakia will go to the free throw line and shoot two. She's three of four at the line tonight. I think the thing you have to like about Rakia Jackson's performance tonight, struggled to shoot the ball in the first half, but didn't, let, didn't allow that to affect her in the second. She's come back, continued to be aggressive on the offensive end, has found her shot here in the second half, and is looking for her 20th point. Well, you can tell she was a little frustrated in the first half, but has settled in. Kayla Jordan has checked back in. She has 11 points. That's 20 points now for Rakia Jackson. And got them both. Scored 26 points the season opener against Alabama State. Has 21 at the moment tonight. Under four to go. Here's Irwin. Well, drove in, missed the shot, but five. Yeah, it goes without saying, but free throws become awfully important here in the final few minutes. South Dakota State just four out of eight at the line. Here yeah. in this ball game, it's making five and nine now. Irwin's first trip tonight. And a 75% career free throw shooter hit them both. And back to a three point game. Mississippi State leading with the ball. Looking for the cutter inside. <laughs> Trying to thread the needle to Danae Carter on the inside, and Anastasia Hayes catches a break. Ball batted out of bounds by the Jacks. Nakia Jackson driving in, just determined to get to the rim, lays it off, scores it, that's her 23rd. You know, if you've got to throw it deep, Rakia not a bad player to do it to, because it just gives her room to go on the attack. Now Meyer driving in. Got her defender in the air, left it short. Saved in bounds by Jordan. Nice defensive stop by State. Here comes Rakia running again. Wide open to Kayla Jordan. What a feed by Maya Taylor, and the state lead is seven. Well, you're thinking right there, you want to run some plot unless, and the unless is you get an open look. And nice job by Jordan getting position and putting it in. Well, Charlie, Mississippi State, a completely different team here in the second half. They've made seven of their last nine shots. They have shared the basketball well. You see that cut to the bucket. And Charlie Jordan now with 13 points in the game. 
she provided the spark to kind of get it all going. But how about this, Charlie? Your Kayla Jordan, 5'9 sophomore guard, leading the way in rebounding now. She has eight rebounds to go along with her 13 points. Yeah, and really felt like she helped set the tone for Mississippi State coming out of the dressing room in the second half. Nine points on three of four shooting from the field, four rebounds, hasn't turned it over here in this second half. So Jordan has really been a real spark. I thought her ability to attack the goal early helped open up some things on the perimeter for your shooters. And well, you gotta really, you start making a list of players who made a difference tonight. Jordan right there with her performance. Inbound to Meyer. Open look, couldn't get it to go. Carter had it knocked free, loose on the floor. There's Jordan again. Possession arrow belongs to Mississippi State. L. Irwin working hard to try to tie it up, but the possession arrow favors the Bulldogs in the seven point lead now, under two and a half to go. They have to reset some uh, the 30 second shot clock. Put it down at 28. A lot of work for two seconds. Yes, sir. Two twenty seven to go. Mississippi State leading by seven. Down by eight at the half. Here's Rakia Jackson. Anastasia Hayes, cut off, back your way in, up and under, just couldn't get it to fall. And the basketball stays with Mississippi State. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Now I think if I'm Doug Novak here, obviously I want to take a good shot, but I don't want to be in a hurry. Jordan, bounce it to Rakia Jackson. Hit with a double team, able to get it out. Look inside, wide open Anastasia Hayes and had it blocked from behind by Paige Meyer. And State comes up with a steal. Maya Taylor drives it up the floor. Dances inside to Kayla Jordan with a lay-in. And it's a nine-point Mississippi State lead. And that's the 15th point in this basketball game for Jordan. Meyer leaning in. Count the bucket, and she's fouled. Now, well, Myers really played a good ball game here today for the Jacks. 19 points. She'll go to the free throw line trying to get her 20th. Well, Meyer had quite the high school career. Had over 2,000 points in Albany, Minnesota. And she cuts it to a six point game. Anastasia Hayes, one minute to go in a two possession game. Eight on the shot clock. Jordan in traffic, off the glass with a bucket. 17 for Ja'Kayla Jordan. And Irwin trying to answer, has it blocked by Danae Carter. Well, Jordan has had quite the second half, and the thing she has done, she has made contested baskets attacking the rim. There's another one there. And Meyer out of the corner with another three. That's her 23rd point and her fifth three. Back to a five-point game. Rakia for the answer. 
Left it long with there's Jaquela Jordan and State can reset. Doug Novak says back it out and now a foul called on Irwin. Yeah, I think that's the thing, Bart. No need to be in a hurry with a shot right here. Up five, under 30 to play now. Of course, it'll be at the free throw line, but nothing wrong with letting a little clock run. And now Hayes with two free throws coming. Missed the first. Of course, in the women's game, when you get to five fouls in the quarters, there's no such thing as a one and one anymore in women's basketball. Really has changed the game. And Hayes hits one out of two. And now 14 points on the night for Anastasia Hayes. And a timeout taken as South Dakota State wants to take a 30-second timeout. We'll stay right here. Charlie, here's the thing, you know, for the casual viewer in this game tonight, and so many times in college basketball, and this is not a knock in any way, but how many times you turn on a ball game and you see one team that is more athletic, and they get wild and crazy, and they get out of their game. Here's the thing about tonight, is I see what South Dakota State has come in here to do with their offense and with their system. They have stayed within their system tonight. You saw Mississippi State make some changes to their defense, and State, the much more athletic team without doubt, has not gotten out of hand at all. This has been a well-coached basketball game and a well-played a well-played basketball game from both of these teams tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, South Dakota State's really brought the fight here tonight. Meyer leaning in, got the bucket against Anastasia Hayes, and is back to a four-point game. And Maya Taylor will go to the free throw line. But you can tell this is a veteran team that's played together a lot. They've got some younger players kind of working into the system as well. Well, they're going to be they're going to be trouble for a lot of teams the rest of the way. Timmer will come out of the game. And now Maya Taylor with a couple big free throws coming with 20 seconds to go. And she misses the first. State only has 7 turnovers tonight. South Dakota State with 14. You haven't seen many mistakes for either team. And she missed them both. But today Carter, the freshman, gets the rebound, and she is fouled. And how big is that offensive rebound for Danae Carter? And now she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two shots. Big free throws coming for the freshman. And that one rattles off. And State right now, just 12 of 19 from the free throw line as a team shooting 63%. And she makes one out of two, and it's a five-point game. And Carter stepping in the passing lane to knock it free. And yeah, Meyer trying to force the issue that time. Didn't have a choice. Two possession ball game, just 15 seconds to go. Meyer doesn't have a whole lot of time. Drives in, hangs and shoots, and left it off the left iron. Rebound to Kayla Jordan. Out to Maya Taylor, that ought to do it. Out to Anastasia Hayes, and she'll back it up, and that will run it out at Mississippi State. That's a quality win tonight for the Bulldogs. 76 to 71 over South Dakota State. Well, good win for Mississippi State against an experienced ball club that came in, played sound basketball, and for Mississippi State, a really good win. Bulldogs down by eight at the half. Come back and win it by five. And Mississippi State pushes its record to 2-0 and on the season. So for Charlie Winfield, I'm Mark Gregory saying so long from Starkville, where Mississippi State wins it 76-71. to To watch this entire game on replay, as well as other games on a family of ESPN networks, 
Log on to watchespn.com or download the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.